Hi, my name is Floris Gerber. This is a little workshop about kicking with a long sword. Beforehand, the participants had some time to look at some pretty pictures I brought with me. You will now have some little bit of time to do the same while I do some service announcements. The workshop was given during the second Potsdamer Fechtschule, hosted by the Schildwache Potsdam. Thanks to Stefan for inviting me. Thanks to Daniel for courageously helping me out without knowing what I was going to do. The workshop will be split into two videos. The first one appearing on this channel here, the second one on my channel. We'd be happy if you check both out. Let's start with Talhofer. The picture looks like this. You have a high guard here. Talhofer stands here and he's kicking with his leg. Correct? Yeah. Um, let's see what, what he's doing to get there. The first thing he does is he, he will probably connect here, go in here. You will want to block this and I smash and go, go, um, go over your sword. This is one way of applying this kick. If I, if I do this with any strength, don't worry, I won't touch you here. You have to block this. And this removes the threat of this blade to my kicking leg. This is very important. I can't kick if I don't have a threat that keeps your blade occupied because either you hit my head or worse, you take a step backwards and cut my foot off. Exactly. So I want to have a threat which pins his blade. Everybody's agreeing? Yeah, it's obvious, huh? So I go in here. I kill you still. Please lift up your sword higher. Boom. And then when, while you fly back, I probably strike the legs. Because in my, in my experience, the legs are the last thing to fly away. Because they are closest to the ground. Okay. Um, could you step forward with your right leg? Thank you. Okay. So there is... Um, there are two different ways to do this front kick. If, if, um, in the sources I showed you, there's one picture of a kick to the groin, which is obviously a nice technique in real combat. So I can go in here and just go boom. And don't do the stomp kick, but a groin kick. We will, we will talk about the differences between these kicks after you try to do this a few times, okay? I showed one more time. We have a connect, I go over with a shield how, or rather I go over with a shield how and have a, a wide stance and now I go boom and kick. And the kick, in my experience, makes either his guard collapse because he goes whoo and looks down, or I can just kick him through and cut the legs. What you have to um, be a little bit wary of is, um, I will not connect, but just imagine you get kicked that if I go here, boom, and you fly away, I can't go here because perhaps he strikes. So the thing we will em emphasize, emphasize now is um, to keep the, uh, the guard we have and the attack we have in place while we're kicking. So the most important part, are don't kick him in the groin, part one. And the second most important part is don't wave your sword about. I don't want to see anybody hit his partner. I don't want to see this and I get struck. Okay, keep, this, um, keep the strike and the guard in place. Let's go. Richtig? Boom, exakt. Genau, du musst. Genau. Du, wie Talhofer zeigt, as, as Talhofer is showing it, he's getting very, very close above here. Which is, in my opinion, um, um, something that happens because of the kick. Yeah. He manages to get in there because um, the opponent is um, distracted by the kick. Is the Shilo important? Or? Yeah, it's, it's, it's the technique to go get in there. I mean, it's much, much, much. The problem is everything else gets you gets your foot cut off, mm -hmm. in my in my experience. The interesting thing is, um, this uh, shield hole here opens the possibilities for two more um, kicking techniques, which are a roundhouse and a side kick.
Let, let's switch positions, please. <laughs> um, there's a really interesting um, thing about the Fiori picture, which I, which I gave you, which shows a kind of kick which goes here. The problem with this picture is um, the hip is somewhat wrong. I invite you to have a look at the picture afterwards, but what you see in the picture is that the hip, which should be extended like this, is standing here, which is incorrect technique from a modern standpoint, but could be he is, he's doing something with the blades up here, grabbing. It might be that it is some hybrid kind of um, roundhouse kick, which hits with the heel and is appropriate for this special distance. I'm not entirely too sure. I think it is a, it is a sidekick and I will um, talk about sidekicks next because when we, do, when we can't do this approaching step, because our opponent doesn't give us away, I can always go with this approaching step. And what this does is it masks very well what my lower foot is doing which means I can go here. This is not a normal fencing position, but a very nice kicking position. Okay, let's just, um, just do this, um, we did before, whoop, whoop. And now we are going for this, you save yourself. And now we step through and do the side kick. I do the side kick once, Without, who, who of you knows how to do a good sidekick? One guy, okay. Okay, I showed once. Um, what I want to do for a sidekick is I want to align my opponent sideways from my, from my stance, and I want to step through behind, like this. Lift up your knee and kick. Hip level is absolutely appropriate. We don't need to hit to, the, to kick to the head. The head moves fast. Uh, the hip moves much less fast than the head does, okay? So we go in here, and this masks that I did this step instead of my normal step. Instead of, I go here, over the line. Uh, this is, I overdo it here. I still attack this. You need to block closer to my strength. Uh, weakness, sorry. Ah, and boom. There goes the kick. Okay. Let's go for this. Can you do this? One, once for everybody. Okay. Uh, take a line on the ground. This is a line that aims at your opponent. And you go over the line. Behind yourself. Open up the knee. And kick on the line. Der, das Spiel, er greift irgendwie oben und dann kickt er unten das Knie raus. Ja, genau. Das war Das, ist, das kann alles Mögliche sein. Ich denke, was gezeigt ist, ist ein Kick, weil die Sohle trifft. Weil ein Roundhouse-Kick mit dem Hacken zu treffen, ist ziemlich dämm schwer. Ja, richtig. Deshalb, normalerweise würdest du einen Halbkreisfußtritt genau. so setzen. Wir reden gleich über Halbkreisfußtritt. Ja. ja, das ist halt genau die Frage, was macht er da? Ja, Richard übertreibt die Grenze mit dem Durchschneiden. Okay. okay. Ähm um, let's, let's go to the next step. Oder warte mal, ich war noch bei den da hinten. What we did now was under the assumption that, the, um, that there's a, a sidekick shown here. Let's talk once more through the problems. Problem number one is, I really need to represent the shield how. If I don't, you're still dying. Go a little bit far, further back. Yeah, okay, now you're not dying anymore. If I don't do this, he will just do bad things to me. If I don't do this, I will eat the pommel. As Amal just said, this is the first thing. Boom, and there comes the kick. Okay, now let's talk about a little bit about roundhouse kicks. I have um, this Fiori illustration, in my opinion, does not show a roundhouse kick. 
But let's talk a bit about roundhouse kicks. Let's go. Beautiful. Switch. Um, there's a way I can go in here. And now, because this part is very nicely open, OK? It's, it, and the nice thing is this and this look damn near the same if I know what I'm doing. Which means when I go here, he's not sure will I kick now or will I go down and do this. And if he takes a step back, come a step towards me and, and dodge the roundhouse kick, please. So if I see I can't hit with this, I still have this. Okay. Um, we would expect normally to see a roundhouse kick shown like this, either hitting with the instep or with the shin, like this. Um, I have no source depicting that, but uh, it's a working technique. You see a lot of um, knockouts in Buhold when something happens where one guy goes here and the other guy does go boom. And it's a knockout if it happens. Through a helmet, through everything, people who strike each other with big pole axes go down in one kick. Okay? Good. Uh, let's, let's try this. It's the same. It's, it's, again, we have to lift up the leg a bit and we go for a low kick. Don't try to hit the face unless you already can do this kick very nicely. Okay? Lift up and go boom. Here. Don't go to the groin. <laughs> go here. Okay? Once more. Go right here. Boom. For now. In reality, I aim for here and I aim under the shoulder. Because I hit here, even if you wear heavy armor, if I hit you under the chin, it lights out, and under the arm, it's probably a broken rib. I want to put my left foot outside of this line. I want to go here, and then I want to swivel on this leg while bringing the knee up, and then extending my leg, or extending my leg, okay? That means I have to go outside because, like somebody said, just said, like a trebuchet, I'm loading up and poof. The trick is, I can do this every time I have to put weight on one leg because I'm doing some, some footwork. Every time I load uh, weight on this leg, there's the option of a kick. Very simple. And we have to do a lot of loading steps and loaded steps. So always I have the option the option at least to represent the danger of a kick coming. I am not sure if I can hit you with a kick, but I can surely make you react to kicks that could come. Okay, go for it once more. What I've seen looks quite okay for how difficult it is. Um, the simple stomping kick is obviously easier. But the opponent has often an easier time to dodge it. Um, when I see that my opponent is too far away, can you please stand with the right foot forward? Thank you. When I see he's too far away, I just go a little shuffle step here, just close in, whoop. Okay, um, let's talk about um, defensive kicking. Offensive kicking is all very nice, but I think defensive kicking is where, um, where it really, really gets interesting. Because I hope you liked this small workshop enough that you will come to my channel and watch the second half. If you liked it, then pommel the subscribe button and saw on how the bell icon.
And with that, Messires, a good day to you.